Hello folks, it's Afonix again. I want to say thank you to all Afonix folks for your support and all. If this is your first time here, kindly smash that red button and don't forget the bell so that when a new video is being uploaded, you will get the alert. Our last tutorial was on how to make a smart light using Arduino. No coding, just drag and drop. Okay. Today we are going to look at how to make a subscription button, YouTube subscription button using Purchase. And we are going to use LCD display and also a push button with Arduino. Without coding, just use flowchart, drag and drop. So with that, let us go straight into a new mind you you can just click on a new project but here already you can see a new flow chart okay click on it this window will appear you can then type in the name of the project you want let's say subscribe okay okay we'll be using subscription button so next okay we'll be using Arduino yes next okay say finish So here is a flow chart where we will be doing our program. Okay. All right. So with that, before hooking up, now let us find our component. First of all, you right click here, add peripherals. We go to groove. Then we have push button here. Click on it. And then you say add it will be added it it has been added here next we go to break out peripherals then we have a 16 by 2 lcd click on it say add then close so they are they have been added here before hooking up our circuit let us know how to use lcd and also we go through our flow chart now let us look at 16 by 2 liquid crystal display okay this is the component why is it called 16 by 2 it means it has two rows and 16 columns okay so these are the 16 columns and these are the rows we have the first row and then we have the second row since it is two row starting from zero then it will start from zero up to one so we have the first row will be zero and the second row will be one it's likewise to the colon it will start from zero up to 15 okay so and each of this box is referred to as a cell so we can make use of this cell by indicating the row and the colon then with the help of that we will decide which cell we want to use now it's time for us to go through the flow chart okay and here is our flow chart for our project today we have the setup loop and then it ends and whatever that is on this loop will be executed once after that it will not execute again until you rerun this program so we want to display certain things here but first we set the cursor at the first cell I mean the first row first colon so it has to display this message welcome to so we set another cursor again at the second row fifth colon it has to display this, this message um a phonics then from there there will be a delay and we will clear whatever is on the screen and that will be the end of the loop the reason why we don't set this all into the lcd at once is because we splitted it because lcd can contain the first row can contain only 16 characters so that's why we made use of the two rows by splitting the message then we go to the loop and this loop whatever is in this loop will be running continuously until the program crashed 
okay first we want to this we want to set up a push button a button that will is just like a subscription button youtube subscription button if you click on the red button it will show you that you have subscribed right but if you don't click on it if you are new to this channel and you don't click on it it will still show you the red color but when you click on it the color changed right now here we set um a button if it is not pressed then we it will set a cursor and display like a request to the user that please kindly subscribe uh, set a cursor again to a phonix then the loop will be closed now if the person push the button then it the loop will move outside and the whatever that is on the screen will be cleared then we set a cursor again to print a message that thank you then we set a cursor again say thank you for subscribing then from that we have a set of delay that will display this message for some period of time then from there there will be no display again and the loop will run out so guy if you are watching this you haven't subscribed yet to Aphonix what are you waiting for smash that red button so it's time for us to go and hook up our circuit so first of all we look at this setup so let me zoom it a little bit okay so we'll be using our lcd <laughs> So now let us run this program and see what it has for us. Oh, it said that the pin, there is a pin. Okay. As we see the message down there, if you look clearly, now here is our push button and then here is LCD display. Okay. As we can see, this one is connected to the digital pin 2. Okay. And this one also is connected to digital pin 2. So we just have to change this and this one is having pin 2 up to pin 7. So we can give any pin to this one that is not in the LCD display. So let us give it pin 8, right? So we say, okay, we run this program and see what it has for us. Boom, it says, welcome to Aphronix. Then there will be some delay. 
now i say kindly subscribe to my channel so if i hit on this button for something it say thank you for subscribing so guys if you haven't subscribed to our phonics yet smash that red button now and don't forget the bell so that when a new video is being uploaded you will get the alert okay guys this is what i have for you today if you have any troubles if you face any problems just leave comment in the comment section we will get on to you we'll respond to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video